we move to the B final of event seven, which is the men's 50 metre butterfly. Where we are now here for the splash and dash. This is a really quick one. Don't blink, ladies and gentlemen. You'll miss these guys. If they're only going to do one lap, it's the 50 metre event. They get in and they just go, as you can see. They come up now in the 50 metre. It's all about holding your form and what you're doing underneath the water. And you can see going right across the pool, it is really close. In lane four, it's Giddings, then Burnoff. I tell you what, you can just about put a blanket over the two, but in the top, I think uh, that might be Crane Giddings, Burnoff coming right down. I think it's in lane five, has just got a touch. And I think that uh, we think it might be Burnoff. It is Abby Harrington. Absolutely kept her form. You can see that kick. Actually, the kick uh, by Lucy Webster is getting a little bit stronger, but she hasn't uh, gained any momentum as Abby Harrington is gliding into a very, very nice victory. As you can see, she's got about three body lengths as she's coming close to the wall. A strong performance there by J.B. Khan. He did a 2.15.53 this morning, and you can see now he is in his own pool in the own water, well out in front swimming very, very nicely, but tightening up, especially down in lane two. That might have been Alex Jones is still doing a great performance trying to bring that home. But we can see now it's a race for second, but look at uh, Jamie Cunn way out in front. He's going to touch now in a 2, uh, 213, 213, So really tight, I think, in lane two. Might have just got that one, Alex Jones. We'll have to wait and see how they saw it from uh, Clancy Van Clennan. In lane three from Nunawadin, Lily Hall. In lane four from Nunawadin, Tegan Coxall. In lane five from Haleberry Aquatic, Zoe Moran. Really striving out now, lovely long stroke, big hard kick as you see high in the water. She'll be urged along and the crowd are really getting behind her. They can get a sniff of a record going here. It is Tegan Coxhill closely by Zoe Moran and Millie Hall. But we go back to our leader as she's coming closely down here. Keep an eye on that clock. I think it's just ticked over a little bit too long for her as she touches the wall. Uh, very, very nice swim. They're just waiting. I think uh, 10401 is just outside the record. She probably tired just at that last bit. But we can see now waiting for at 104.01 when it was 103.60 the mark looking for but nevertheless uh, Tegan Coxhill has come in for the gold medal